hello uh, in the small workshop and uh, today I would like to show how to change the brake pads in a road bike in a Shimano uh, brake system so I would like to first guide with uh, which tools you need it what I recommend it and then how to do it how is the my way and um, how I feel confident that the brake will work and that uh, is not also the brake system destroyed which is many times happened so Let's go, let's just dive in, which tools we need it and um, what we do, the first step and then how to process everything. It's a really easy job, so I, mean, I think that is um, really nice to, to just look a little bit and then you can do it yourself. So yeah, let's do it. So let's start with the tools which we need it and um, which they are recommended. Of course we need a brake pad. I have a small paper, the, um, the spacer for the doing the, the, the correct lever. So lever for, the, um, uh, for opening the, the brake caliper, for straightening the disc because we will need it. For this particular bike we have uh, the 6 and the 4 torque. Uh, the Phillips screwdriver and the funnel. So this is what we needed. Um, at least we recommend it, and also some brake cleaner and uh, yeah, some additional things. So let's go to the next step and let's start with the front brakes. So the process of changing the brake pads, we start with the uh, open the system and put the funnel on. So hoodie. Simple open, remove it a little bit back. So, Allen key to open, easy. Install the funnel. We put a little bit of paper for the protection. And now we can start with the front wheel, remove the front wheel and then to remove the brake pads. Now we remove the wheel. Now we first remove the clip and then later we remove the bolt out and then the, the piece, uh, the completely practical out. So we remove the clip, so that's the clip, small one will show. We remove the completely screw out. And we push the pin completely out. So now we have the brake pads out. Um, the, this bike is new, so now here you don't have so much dirt inside, and you don't have. Normally, it's everything black, and it's good that you, with the air, blow a little bit out. If you don't have the air, I normally do it with the silicone spray, and then. I brush with the, the the toothbrush. I have one like this, and I brush everything really clean inside. That go really on. Maybe two times with the with the silicone. Then I, I put a little bit towel inside and everything that go really up. Um, here I would mention I don't put the, the piston inside, so I let the pistons out how they are, especially because of the reason that that I clean around the pistons. 
this is for me important and uh, normally also move a little bit piston out a little bit back and uh, do these these things a couple of times so that um, get everything really clean then later i use a brake cleaner so i have from we use from motorex uh, here in the workshop and i did everything that is really clean and everything and uh, then i start set up the 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 the, the, the pistons inside That's the official tool for put the pistons inside, but here is my trick and I cannot stress enough because I normally do with this when I am be careful and uh, you need to have feeling for this um, because the, the all new Shimano, um, also four pistons and everything come with the ceramic pistons. Uh, you can see it when it's ceramic, when it's white, then it's ceramic. So what I normally do, I use a little bit trick, so I use the tire lever. Um, it's much more flexible and uh, with this you prevent a little bit that uh, the piston get broke when you put inside, which can still happen. Um, so I normally go a little bit with feeling inside, push two times the brakes a little bit, that start the piston go inside. Here is the why we open the the up on the on the lever why we open the funnel. It's uh, that if you have too much oil inside, then we'll go up in the lever, and that means that you you are safe. If up you don't have open, what can happen that you have over pressure, and some seals can blow out, and and uh, also the safety pin can jump out, and this we don't wanna. So. Here it's why we use like this. So let's now install the brake pads inside and uh, how to put the wheel on and everything else. At this point we are sure that the pistons are completely in a both side inside. So and we install the brake pads uh, back inside. So I will put the brake pads back like this. Tuck. We put the bolt. Look that everything match correct. This bolt you don't need to tighten too much. Just a little bit tighten. So with the feeling with two fingers it's not it's nothing that, that you should over tighten because then you will just have a problem. We'll nowhere go. Because here we have now on the end don't forget it, the safety pin. So we put the safety pin, that's it. Before we fix the tire back on, we will now um, release the caliper so that the caliper have play and then we will uh, put the spacer inside to make sure that come in the correct space and then we install the wheel on. So now we will release the bolts. So we can see that it can play. We install the the spacer inside and press the lever three times, four times that get everything correct and that's it. Back out and now it's ready to set up the wheel. Now we put wheel back inside in the frame so just be careful that it's in the middle. You put it on like this. Tuck. We put the axle inside, tighten a little bit with the hand and then we take a torque key. Uh, with the torque key is, le is like this that you have normally written on the, on the axle how much you need to put. So by this particular we have 11 and uh, I would say here that you go a little bit less so I go normally by 10 and a half. So 
you tighten enough you don't need more that's it so the wheel is installed now the bike is not ready to ride like we know it's now to set up the caliper how we do this we go now next step I start this process now um, with a simple step that I press the brake and uh, after I press the brake two times then I tighten the bolts but just a little bit so let's do it we press a brake we tighten a little bit like this just just a little bit don't over tighten don't do nothing and now we spin and we see that is touching so what we do now we look from this side and this side inside and we adjust the caliper that come in the correct way so that we can uh, spin the wheel without touching In case that when you spin the wheel it's still touching is simple we use this tool so we look inside and we check at which point it's a little bit rubbing and when you see at which point you remember this point you coming a little bit out and you not at the point where it's touching but a little bit back a little bit in the front and a little bit adjusting better to adjust three four times then one time too much and damage the disc but it's really simple you can do really straight and it's then on the end it works the same like this so no problem and uh, this is how we change the in the front brake and now we can the same do it also with the back we will now remove the funnel and the front brake is done and then we will go to the rear brake so simply remove the funnel we see a little bit oil so we did a good job we close the system we can see that it's a little bit oil around this we clean with the paper a little bit brake cleaner don't overtake it remove the paper and install the hoodie back So here we already open the, the lever, which we know from the front brake, the process, how to do it. Now what we will do, we will shift here in the lowest sprocket as possible, so the chain doesn't have so much tension. In the front we don't let on a big chairing, and then we remove the rear wheel the same way like we remove the, the front wheel. Just be careful with the rear delirier that we don't damage, that we don't put too much tension or that we don't push too much. We push the rear deliver like this and a little bit back and go a little and go everything smoothly out. So that's really simple. We don't need to worry about nothing. So we are now by the rear caliper and this is completely nothing different than the front caliper and this every road bike have the same. You have two bolts on the bottom 
So the same which was before on the top, we now on the bottom, lose it a little bit. The same, be careful with the ceramic pistons and uh, we, we need to be careful also that we clean everything and put back together. So I believe that this is a great way to start and to improve your braking performance. So now um, we will just put the rear wheel on, back that we check how to put with rear delirium and also to check that the gears works. So that's pretty easy step. We put rear delirium open, put it inside and that's it. Nothing complicated and we just put the rear axle back inside and tighten. The same like with the front axle, we need to be careful how much newton meters have it. Our axle have the same like like was in the front, so click, that's enough. We don't need nothing more. We remove the funnel now, clean it and put back together everything like it was. So don't forget to put the clip inside so that the oil what was too much doesn't go uh, out. We go with the funnel out, clean, we clean the oil, what go a little bit out, tighten the bolt, don't tighten too much bolt, a little bit with two fingers and that's it, will not open, will never go, we remove the a little bit again to clean brake cleaner and we put hoodie back on So for the end, what is stay, I always check that the gears work because we, we remove the rear tire and that the filling in the brakes is correct. So this I simply do with the changing the gears, check that everything works perfect, which in this case it works, the bike is completely new and check the brake and the brakes works amazing. We did a good job, we replaced the brake pads and we can now safety enjoy the ride. So I hope that you like this and that we go further and uh, we explore something more. Uh, next time we do, we do with the e-bikes and with the bikes, the normal mountain bikes, and then also some bearings to change and some services. Um, please like and subscribe and uh, we can do the further. Thank you very much.